very often, I would only say that every scientific theory is like that, but um, the common sense has been, or at least the underlying assumptions by um, several models about altruistic behaviors in humans, is that um, we kind of start out being selfish. And it is upon um, society with all the social norms and expectations to kind of train up children implicitly or explicitly to uh, become altruistic. And I think that our research and that of other people as well shows that this view that um, somehow um, here is mother nature on the one hand and society on the other hand is not quite right. And that it seems like biology and culture actually work in concert when it comes to these altruistic uh, tendencies. Children have certain what I would call predisposition towards uh, altruistic behaviors. So it is not upon social norms being taught to children alone that turn us into altruistic beings beyond all the selfish stuff that we do. It is that also young children have this tendency that when they see that someone is in trouble um, or they see that someone is in distress, they want to do something about it. So I think that um, biology and our cultural norms kind of work together um, in this case and that we can trace back our altruistic tendencies to very young children as well. So what we found is that children as young as 14 and 18 months of age will spontaneously help someone when someone's, for example, dropping something on the floor and is unsuccessfully reaching for it or someone is trying to uh, put stuff away into a cabinet and the doors are closed, they will hold it open and so forth. So very early on in the second year of life, um, young children are already are helpful. Yeah.